Alright, so this video should have came out a little bit long ago when the alpha was literally released during the weekend. But unfortunately, I started fooling around and uh, I was chilling, just wanted to be myself and just have a good time and just give myself some space off of YouTube for a bit so I can actually clear my head, come up with some new plans and all that stuff. So, um,. What's been going on is there has been a lot of unnecessary uh, comments, but as far as anything, I'm not really going to get into that. Um, wait, what the fuck am I talking about? <sighs> anyway, so I wanted to speak on the uh, game itself. The game is not too bad. The alpha is just like any regular alpha that I've actually tested before. Um, and it's not really that similar to anything else, but, um, there was, um, a few things that I have a bit of a problem with. Number one was the fact that there is a lot of, uh, rushing and gunning, and the reason there is is because the hip fire is a little bit more better, um, in this game than anything else. And it's something that I was actually quite interested in, uh, but since I was running a sensitivity, uh, ugh, since I was running a sensitivity that I couldn't use... It was just clear that I couldn't do a damn thing about it. And it was completely uneasy as it is. Now, as much as the last guy, it wouldn't have been that surprising if I was having a problem with recording it by itself. But to be fair, I was just struggling to literally get kills and all that stuff. Now, of course, um, I'm a TDM guy. So, um, I took a look at TDM for a bit. And it looks like a lot of people do rush in that game. Um... And it's pretty cool, but the thing is, like, the open maps are so wide open. Like, Miami and all that stuff. I really hope they will give us, like, open maps, so that way it'll be a little bit easier for us to, like, deal with all this stuff. And also, uh, the fact that we can actually see stuff um, with that equipment that you have there, it's so much easier to literally, like, see the equipment and all that stuff. It actually helps out a little bit more. So... In future gaming, when I actually buy, uh, buy the game, I will be using it. And that's something that I will actually be um, focusing on a little bit more. Now, as far as anything, I wanted to actually clear up a lot of things as far as uh, what's been going on as far as the assault rifle aspect is. Uh, I tested out the M16 to MP5s. These guys are fucking rough as shit. But the issue is there are some guns that are more powerful than others. And one being the AK. The AK has definitely gotten a little bit more uh, buffed in this um, alpha. But I think during the weekend it got nerfed to a certain extent on the damage um, or most importantly the uh, DPI than anything else. So hopefully um, it will stay that way because... Let's be serious here. It does not need to be that powerful. Um, sure, it should have been a little bit more powerful when it was in Modern Warfare 2. but Or Modern Warfare 3 or Modern Warfare today. But you get the point. But even so, it just gives it a bit more of a better perspective than anything else. So, here's the other thing. Uh, the reason this is 28 minutes is because I wanted to give it a little bit of time to go over the perspectives of these games that I'm doing because it's clear that if you see right now that I'm currently losing <laughs> uh, it's really bad for me because um, the awareness in the game is so fucking buggy and it took me so long to get used to throughout the weekend uh, that I've been playing it and it just it got to me because I couldn't like get enough footage to put up so I only got two so hopefully this was enough but the issue was is that when I was playing with my boys, they were not having fun with the game. I mean, obviously, you have one of my boys that are completely trash at the game. Um, and then the other one is just completely decent and is always rushing all the time. And it kind of gets you to where you realize, is it really there? Is there really a point of playing a certain mode on um, a game like this? And the answer is... Yes and no. Half of these modes are mostly made for anyone who runs, uh, number one, the commando, because 
that's probably the most um, OP gun in the game. Number two, it was also a clearance that the entire thing is just absolutely fucking obnoxious itself. Like, if you go into the game itself, it literally goes straight there. And no matter what you do, you have to understand that the game is so high-tech that you have to... Number one, you have to slide all the goddamn time. And it's almost similar to Black Ops 4 where they're giving, um, number one, opportunities for people to literally have an aggressive play. And that's something that a lot of people like to do. Hell, I would love to do that if I wanted to, but the only issue with me is the fact that I cannot simply have those type of games where I can aggress um, towards uh, middle or uh, rotate where there's so many people who are running either uh, subs or anything like that because half of the people who are aggressing towards mid or mostly people who are actually using submachine guns. So even if I do something about it, it wouldn't even matter. So Aggressing might take a long time for me to get used to in the game, so I'm going to have a little bit of time to practice that, go over it, and practice it throughout the entire time I got um, when I get the game. Um, so, here's the other thing that also got me. The sniper. The snipers were a little bit more um, fidgety. Uh, they try to give it a realistic look uh, for the snipers, it's so they're a little bit more slow as you... Um, aim down the sight so it's not really that easy to quick scope in this game so they definitely like put that out a little bit more um, it wasn't really a simple thing that they wanted to do but it was something that had to be done regardless um, but as a result of the game itself it seems like they gave away uh, a lot of attention towards the game itself and the reason I say that is because there is way too many uh, fillers. There's way too many fillers in the game where, number one, the rotations are fucking ridiculous. And then you have so many people in the goddamn spawn that don't even freaking go anywhere in the mid. They don't even go anywhere. So once they go anywhere in the middle, they start, like, they start repeating itself. And let's just say the cycle continues. And... The more the cycle continues, the more people realize, like, the alpha isn't really going to be worth enough if you um, do the same thing. So, once the alpha was out, and it was actually full and brand, it seems like they were just trying to make sure that the guns were working, how much the streaks were working, how much the servers were working, and how much the entire thing was actually on full. Now... Here's the other thing that kind of got me a little bit. The streaks. The streaks were so fucking outrageous. I couldn't even bear myself to actually practice with those. I was struggling so hard to deal with the uh, streaks that I had. And you can literally tell by the gameplay itself I was struggling to deal with the streaks. And it was also concerning how many times you literally, like, you use so many of these streaks yet half of them are so fucking hard to use like artillery is probably one of the hardest ones because you have to determine what window you're using because i'm guaranteeing you any window that's above or anything like that you can't even go near it it is that bad that you have to freaking like get somebody in an open window it, it's so so difficult uh this time in the game and it's so upsetting it's so upsetting but as far as anything, I want to say um, a couple things about the aspects of Call of Duty and what I actually think of it as a whole. Overall, the game is great. Uh, the alpha, it needs some work, but other than that, it's cool. Um, but as far as anything, I just need more practice on the game itself. And uh, hopefully the game will get better in the future. I do suggest one thing, though. You might want to actually... Actually, I'm just going to say this. You might want to actually um, decrease the DPI for the commando. The reason I say that is because the DPI on that is super strong. 
And if you keep it on there, people are just going to run that gun every goddamn time. And it's going to be like Modern Warfare all over again. So, suggestion, just run, um, just figure out a way to decrease the DPI of that and you'll be alright. And hopefully nothing will happen from there. Um, I really hope this will be um, something that you guys will understand from me. Um, personally, when you guys actually saw, uh, did the alpha and saw how the experience was, what did, what was your perspective on it? I wanna, uh, no, cause it seems like the perspective of the game, it was a little bit more, uh, unexpected as anyone else would have guessed. I mean, it had its fillers, but it had, uh, some of the best parts of the game as well, so it wasn't too serious. Although I do say, um, some of the snipers in this game are a bit hard to control. Like, the shots are not even going there. Like, you have to steady your shot every goddamn time, and it's such an easy way to go through things. And no matter what you do, you have to literally, like, keep going at it and trying to aim directly at the person with the sniper. So, it's very clear also that they're trying to nerf some of the sniper's uh, damage. Which is something that I was actually wondering, because I'm taking a guess that they wouldn't let anybody, like, have FMJ for that specific class uh, setup. So, even if it was uh, changed up or um, switched up to a more of a weaker gun, it still would have been a uh, stronger gun with FMJ regardless. So, it would have been clear that they were going to change that up. Um, also, you can clearly tell that um, I'm not doing really well. Uh, but we are winning. But as far as anything, yeah, we weren't doing so well. Now, the other thing that um, would kind of get me a little more was the fact that um, the amount of times you go into certain maps. There are times in these maps where you can't seem, and I'm just saying this for the benefit of them. Some of these maps, they're expecting you to fucking push so, our teammates are not really going to have the... I'm going to keep it 100%. And no matter what you say to me, my teammates will not fucking push to save their lives. I am telling you. No matter how many times they rush, they will get fucking obliterated. That's all I have to say. Unless you're a really good aggressive player, that's someone I can actually respect. But if you're just struggling to fucking do a damn thing, then what's the point of playing with you, man? What's really the point of me playing with you if you can't simply do anything? Ugh, Sorry, I had something in my hair. Um, there's a lot to uncover here, too, because people are not going to be this smart about like the things that will happen in the near future. And I would love for people to understand that. What I don't understand is why people will literally decide to think, oh yeah, I'm going to simply make mistakes like that. Like, I'm going to make the consequence so severe to the point where you're going to, number one, make the biggest mistake by adding skill-based matchmaking. And if you do that, that's a fucking mistake. But as far as anything... um. You just need to have no skill-based matchmaking. Just bu buff some of the guns that actually need um, the buff. And nerf some of the guns that need to nerf. That's all I'm going to say. Because you have to be careful on what gun needs to be buff or nerf. Because otherwise you're just going to literally start nerfing random guns that you're just basically trying to ask for complaints and it's just going to be another problem also um here's the other thing i was also concerned about bugs there are multiple bugs in the game that will literally become a problem itself if there's any bugs that will have to be fixed in this game it has to be on this specific one because there will be certain bugs where if you're lagging or anything like that, you'll end up, like, glitching through the floor. Next thing you know, we can't even kill you from there. Like, you're lagging all over the place. And next thing you know, you can shoot us from under there. I'm like, 
what the fuck is the point? So, make sure to fix those type of bugs. But, anyway, let's get into the uh, scenario of the issue. One, specifically, and I just want to say this for the benefit of the doubt. People are not going to realize that there has been way too many um, issues lately with uh, Mosh Pit. People love Mosh Pit. If you're dominant on there, props to you. But there are times where players don't even fucking try on that lobby, and it's fucking hilarious, and it's a waste of time. And I just rather not waste my time trying to try in the game, and no one fucking gives a shit about the game at and, and that fucking point. I'm like, the most the point of playing with you if you can't seem to do that. Elaborate that to me, please. Uh, but anyway, um, that's it for me, really. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this personal thought that I have. Uh, if you have, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on next time. Goodbye. Yeah, Incoming C4. Hostile throw smoke. DGI, we are running out of time. Return to base. Squad mates down. Mission full bar. Request to meet. Neutralized. <laughs>